Okay, you are here because you have two worksheets and there are differences between the two worksheets and you don't know what they are and you don't want to manually have to look through all those and find them. So what this program is going to do or what this procedure is going to do is create a VLOOKUP to compare two values and then we're going to use conditional formatting to make them stand out and if you wanted to take it a step further you could even sort it by color because that's how we're going to use the conditional formatting and just have all the differences float to the top if you want to. Um, but in any case we'll at least have those differences highlighted. So um, first thing if we do a VLOOKUP if you're familiar with this at all you already know that we need to have some sort of a unique identifier in the far left column. I have two sheets here. Here's my original sheet um, you can see I have 41 rows. Um, this is actually a standard um, little practice sheet that's in the Element K. Uh, I think it's in the 2002, probably in the 2000, or I'm sorry, 2007, 2010 level two book. Um, you can create your own. It doesn't make any difference. But anyway, so here's the original. We've got 41 rows. Um, the revision here is only got 39 rows. So not only are we going to identify um, differences in this total cost column, we are also going to identify what's missing from the original sheet. Okay, so that's our, our objective. We're looking at project number. We believe that there's some changes in the total cost and that's what we're looking for. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to revision and you're going to highlight your data and you're going to name it. Now I've already done this uh, in order to do that again, highlight data, type the name in the little name box, and you're going to call that revision data. That's just going to make your life easier when putting the VLOOKUP formula in. So go back over to the original sheet. We're going to make a separate column over here. We're going to call it compare. And underneath that, we're going to put our VLOOKUP formula. So it's going to be equal VLOOKUP. Open parentheses. Um, lookup value. We're going to look in that original identifier, right? Unique identifier. So that's where the lookup value is. Comma. The table array is going to be our named range, which happens to be revision data. And the minute I get that far, I can see it pops up on my little list. I can double click so I don't have to worry about mistyping that. Comma. What column do we want it to return to us? Well, that's a simple count from the left column. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. We want that seventh row coming back. Okay, so I'm just going to type a seven in there, comma. And this one, yes, we certainly want an exact match. We don't want something that's approximate, so we're going to give that one a double click. It puts false in our formula, and we're going to hit enter. Now I'm going to click on that top row and copy that on down. And you'll see that I have some that say NA. And what NA means is it can't find that unique identifier in the far left-hand column. And um, otherwise there's some changes in here, but we don't know what they are right now other than those NAs because we would have to physically go through every row to figure that out. So that's why we're going to apply conditional formatting. But before I apply the additional formatting, something else I like to do, because NAs kind of freak people out. They, oh, there's an error. I did something wrong, and they kind of freak. So if we put an if error around our VLOOKUP formula, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to uh, communicate why that NA is there. So this is how you do that. You don't have to do this step. You can live with the NA, but this is kind of fun, and it, it works nicely. So we're going to say, uh, put your cursor in between the equal sign and the V and V look up, and I'm up there in the formula bar. We're going to say if, open parentheses. No, we're not going to say if, huh, if error. If error, open parentheses. I'm going to go all the way to the end, and I'm going to put a comma in there, and I'm going to put the message, of course, in quotes. Um, oh, what should we say? Missing. How about that? So that's missing is in quotes. I'm going to close that, 
parenthesis, hit enter, and I'm going to copy that on down, and you'll see that rather than NAs in there, you're going to get the word missing. So now we know, okay, those two records aren't in that revision sheet. Now our second step to make those uh, with different values kind of pop out, I'm going to leave that same range selected. I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, and I'm going to go to More Rules. Okay, I can use this format only cells that contain um, or values. I'm going to go down to use a formula. Um, more than one way to do this, so I'm just going to hit use a formula. And what I want to know is the value in I2. We want to see if it's not equal to the value in G2, right? That's looking at this one, saying is it the same as this one? If that's true, if it's not equal, we're going to click on Format and we're going to give it a pink background. Now, I'm going to warn you that we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to make an adjustment to this after we hit OK, just so you know it's not going to work the first time through. So we're going to hit OK and nothing happens, right? What we need to do, and I'm not sure why this does this, but we have to make an adjustment to that rule. I'll show you in a sec here. Let's go back to Manage Rules, and you're going to see your rule there. And for some reason in that formula, it puts quotes around it. Not sure how to make it stop doing that. Maybe some genius watching this will let me know. But um, it's looking for a string when it's got those around that. We don't want it to be looking for a string. So we're just going to select that rule, edit the rule, and take those quotes out. You know, Excel tries to think for us, and sometimes it thinks wrong. So we're going to take those out, we're going to hit OK and Apply, or OK again, and here you go. Um, you've got anything that has a different value than G showing up in a pink background. So now you know the differences between your original sheet and your revision, and if you have 10,000 rows, you're a really happy camper right now. So thanks for listening. Um, pass it along to friends who may need it, and I enjoyed sharing that with you.